Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about something very important. Last night I watched the Leaving Neverland Part 2 show. And what I'm going to say has nothing to do with Michael Jackson being innocent or guilty. Because as I mentioned in my last video talking about this. There is a lot and I do mean a lot of reason to believe that many people are lying just to get money out of the Michael Jackson estate. However. However. We all know that Michael Jackson wasn't a normal person and in that and his behavior. Many people like myself when asked. Would you let your kid sleep in a bed with a man like Michael Jackson that was a bit strange? Let alone any man at all. And the answer is a flat out no. And in his behavior that is the thing that makes some people say. It's possible that it happened. So because there is so much going on that can sway a person on either side. I will say regarding his innocence or guilt. I don't know. I just don't know. Only the Most High God knows. With that said. I did want to talk about stage mothers. Narcissism. And hypergamy in relationship to the Leaving Neverland special. Most in particular part 2. You see when watching certain things like this. It might be one particular thing said that grabs my attention more so than other things. I think you can probably identify with this kind of gut feeling. And what was said that grabbed my attention while watching this special last night. Was when Wade. The man that testified for Michael Jackson but who is now saying Michael Jackson abused him. As there are two men. One testified for him as an adult. The other man stayed out of it. But both are now saying Michael Jackson abused them. Anyways. Wade's mother mentioned that he had no feelings for her at all. This was after it was revealed to his family that this alleged abuse took place. Because according to the mother and the rest of the family. Wade denied it and said that everything was fine. However. Finally Wade came forward with his family after a lot of life troubles and confessed. And when his mother was told. He also told his mother he had no feelings for her. Now regardless if Michael Jackson really did this or not. Here you have a woman that completely and utterly split up her family. For a man she only knew in the beginning for 4 hours according to Wade. But this man was Michael Jackson. A man that allowed her to ride on fancy jet airplanes. Stay in the best hotels. Eat the best food. And drink the best wine. And in part 1 and 2. You hear about how Wade's father was diagnosed with being bipolar and was begging his family to not leave him as he needed their help. But instead of helping a man this woman stood in front of God and took vows with. She left Australia to live in America to pursue. The lifestyle of a man she barely knew at all. And let her son sleep in the bed with a strange man she didn't know. All because he was rich. And famous. Now I want you to let that sink in for a moment. Now I know I talk about men and women issues. And though men and women can and do do horrible evil to one another. We see it in the news every single day. As I've mentioned before. In the western world at least. There is a double standard. And that is when a woman changes her mind and uproots her family and leaves her husband behind. And all of these horrible things. It's her right because a woman is allowed to change her mind. But if a man does it he ought to be ashamed of himself. And though in many years past did this type of behavior of hypergamy still happen? Yes. But I believe in much lower amounts. Because there was a social stigma against a woman or a man leaving their family. You were expected to stick by your family through thick and thin. Love meant something. So when these types of things happened. It stuck out like a sore thumb. And in this case. The sad fact is Wade's father killed himself. And being bipolar or not. The rate of male suicide in the western world is off the charts. Because men more times than not lose their children in divorces. They rarely are allowed to see their children often when a divorce happens. The woman is the one that oftentimes brings said divorce into happening to begin with. And though there are women that do get divorced because they are abused. Just like men can be abused. 
there is an epidemic of women bringing these divorces all so they can so-called chase a better lifestyle and relive their youth. And have a chance to date. Or to pursue making their child famous. And the list goes on and on. The facts are. Michael Jackson showed up in this family's life. Or the other way around if you see how they met. And for this so-called mother the chase was on. She got a taste of the good life and stopped caring about her family and what she was doing to it and began to chase the lifestyle of the rich and famous at the expense of her entire family. What is interesting is Wade's brother and grandmother seem to be the most down-to-earth in the entire series. Especially Wade's brother. Because they interview from the standpoint. Not everyone supposedly knows what's going on and they talk about their points of views as their relationship with Michael Jackson and the entire thing unfolds. Well, Wade's older brother he didn't have much interaction with the entire thing. Because you could tell from day one he wasn't on board with any of it. And he mentioned he wasn't just upset when Wade confessed to him about the alleged abuse. But he was upset with his mother way way before that for breaking up her family and leaving his father that ended up killing himself. The grandmother said pretty much the same thing. That her daughter pretty much turned everyone's life upside down all for Michael Jackson. Now I want you to think for a moment when you hear about men talking about hypergaming. Which is when a woman monkey branches to another man that has more money and power or whatever. One minute she's in love with this man. But then she sees this man that has more. And she makes sure this new rich man is firmly in her grasp before she lets go of the other branch or her previous relationship. And I know I know. Men do this too. We talk about it here in the narcissistic abuse community. How the narcissist will have another victim way before they leave you. Which is the same thing as monkey branching. However. However. The difference is. When women do this type of behavior. It's accepted, expected, and seen as normal by our society. You always hear. You go girl. High five. Don't you think despite destroying her family. And some of her family being at odds with Wade's mother even at the beginning. Don't you think there were some of her so-called girlfriends that high-fived her when she left her sick husband and said you go girl. Make your son famous. You are living the good life. Or you know you only have one life to live you know. You go girl. Go for it. And that type of thing. I'm pretty darn sure that was taking place. And it was taking place because how our society sees this behavior in women. It celebrates when women destroy their families like this. And it proves that modern day hypergamy is very real. And it's something you and others should understand this is why marriages are down and divorces are up. Men are scared to death they are going to meet a woman. Get married. And even if she is nice. Even if she's good. And she's not a narcissist. That all the world has to offer. Will sway her into the arms of another man. A man that has more and that can provide more of this fantasy life. That can take her on more trips. And buy her more gifts. And this is a real fear that is based on facts. Because most divorces are a result of this very thing. The woman felt she can have more with this guy instead of that guy. So let's rip the family apart so I can be happy for this short while. While everyone suffers. And society high fives her and celebrates all of this mess. And in this case. You have a man that either learned how to be a pathological liar to get what he wants because that's what he was possibly taught to do by guess who. His mother. Allegedly. Or. He was possibly a real abuse victim at the hands of a strange man. Also his mother could live the good life. Neither one is good. Neither one. Neither one. This is why this kind of thing needs to be addressed and if someone does choose to get married or if they are already stuck in such an ugly third party agreement with the state. They should have the ability to not have their life turned upside down because their grown adult spouse wants to up and change her mind and act like a child. Because I think if there was accountability on both sides. On both sides. 
not where one side gets to act like a child with no consequences. You would see the ripping apart of the family happening less and less. Hypergamy is real. And this so-called woman proved it like no other. She uprooted her family for a man that she only knew for four hours in the beginning. All because she wanted the good life. Much like when you see these videos of a man with a fancy $200,000 sports car ask a woman that has a boyfriend or husband to get in his car and go for a ride to his apartment. And 9 times out of 10. The women want to get into the car. And when the prank goes the other way. And if they open up a car door of a Honda Civic right next to the real expensive car. The woman all of a sudden changes her mind and is no longer interested. And in all of these. I've only seen one woman tell these guys. No amount of money can buy me. Please leave me alone. I love my husband. I've only seen one woman do that. The rest. About ready to get into a car with a strange man they've known for about 60 seconds. They don't know anything about him. They just know he's rich and they want that lifestyle. Now think about this example for a moment and the leaving Neverland example. How many women in society today just like they would get into a car of a man that appears to be rich they barely know? How many of these same women would and do give these strangers access to their children? All because of hypergaming. So what's the answer? We talk about it. We pray about it. Because the more we say this is unacceptable. Not everyone will figure it out. But there might be one. Just one that says. My God. What the heck and am I doing? And it might just save someone's life. Literally. Well that's all I have for now. Please tell me what you think. I would like to know. Also. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the little bell to be notified each and every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share and like as by doing that. You are helping this type of content be pushed to the front of YouTube so others will have an easier time finding it. And if you would like to support even further. You can do so by the way of Patreon. And if you are already supporting by the way of Patreon. I humbly say thank you. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.